Hello everyone, welcome to Golden Top 10, a channel for amazing facts and information. In this video, we are going to talk about the greatest African leaders of all time. Watch this video till the end so you don't miss any part of the video worth seeing, and make sure to subscribe to Golden Top 10, and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our future uploads. What does it take to be remembered as a great leader in Africa? Perhaps perseverance and determination are required. How about accountability? Without a doubt, immense power comes with great responsibility. The personalities we're about to look at had more to them than the features listed above. These African men and women have a strong feeling of responsibility as well as a high level of charity. These leaders, heroes, and heroines of their eras, were willing to risk all to confront the unknown and express change in Africa. The outstanding brains mentioned discussed here, are responsible for much of Africa's achievements in terms of gender equity and social justice. Join us on a journey down memory lane as we look at the top 10 greatest African leaders of all time. Number 10. Ellen Johnson Sirleaf. The name of Africa's first female head of state must be included in this list. There is still time to memorialize her while simultaneously balancing the political arithmetic. Johnson Sirleaf is a former Liberian president who served from 2006 to 2018. She is known as, Africa's Iron Lady. She is a Harvard economics graduate who fought back from jails and exile, becoming an inspiration to many young female politicians. She was also awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for building a solid platform for women's future success. Despite the great hurdles they faced, they always put progress and prosperity in Africa at the forefront of their minds. Number 9. Kenneth Conda. Kenneth Conda is a retired Zambian politician who served as the country's first president between 1964 to 1991. When he served as a foreign affairs interpreter and advisor in 1949, Conda, a teacher by profession, got a wealth of political experience. Sir Stuart Brown, a liberal white colonist, was his boss. Later, Conda joined the African National Congress and rose through the ranks. He achieved Zambian independence through non-violent protests and discussions. Number 8. Jomo Kenyatta. He is one of the most well-known names in African politics. Jomo Kenyatta was an anti-colonial campaigner who rose through the ranks to become Kenya's first president. He was also Kenya's first prime minister, 1963-1964. Kenyatta was instrumental in the country's independence from colonial authority. In the Kenya National African Union, he was a frontline politician. His political ideas are nationalist and conservative. Kenyatta also worked to create harmony among the country's ethnic groups. He was the one who signed Kenya's registration papers with the African Union. Number 7. Thomas Sankara. Thomas Sankara is largely considered a political hero in Africa. He was a revolutionary who served as president of Burkina Faso from 1983 until 1987. Sankara was a staunch pan-Africanist and Marxist supporter. He is widely regarded as a revolutionary icon or Africa's Che Guevara. Sankara enlisted in the army at the age of 20 and received training in Madagascar in 1970. He watched students revolting against the Madagascan authorities there. In 1983, he seized power and renamed the country Burkina Faso, replacing Upper Volta with Burkina Faso. Sankara was assassinated at the age of 37 by a former friend in a military coup on October 15, 1978. Number 6. Kofi Annan. From 1997 to 2006, Kofi Annan, a Ghanaian diplomat, served as the UN's seventh secretary general. When he was in charge of the United Nations, Annan focused on Africa's HIV, AIDS epidemic. He worked to put an end to numerous wars around the world. In 2006, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. His years after leaving the United Nations as Secretary General were likewise fruitful. In nations like Syria and Myanmar, he served as special envoys and led many organizations. The Kofi Annan Foundation, a humanitarian organization, and global policy think tank is only one of Anand's many legacy works. Anand's death was announced in the early hours of August 18, 2018. Annan will live on in our memory as a great leader who worked diligently for global peace and famine elimination. Number 5. Patrice Lumumba. Lumumba was a Congolese revolutionary politician who aided the country's independence. 
From July to September 1960, he served as the first Prime Minister of the Republic of Congo. Patrice Lumumba created the Congolese National Movement when he returned to Congo. Lumumba pushed for his country's independence using Pan-African beliefs. Lumumba's effort was instrumental in Congo's independence from Belgium on June 30, 1961. For his wonderful personality and superb communication skills, he received a lot of public favor. Colonel Mobutu removed Lumumba from power, and he was killed in January 1961. At the time of his horrific death, the Congolese patriot and father of the Congolese independence movement were only 35 years old. Number 4. Julius Nyerere. He is another African hero who will live in infamy. He was Tanzania's first president and prime minister. He was both an African nationalist and a socialist as an intellectual with master's degrees in economics and history. He co-founded the TANU Tanganyika African National Union in 1953. He put a lot of pressure on Britain for self-rule and governance as president of TANU. Tanzania obtained independence on December 9, 1961, as a result of his efforts. Number 3. Kwame Nkrumah. Kwame Nkrumah is a well-known Ghanaian politician who led the country to independence from its colonial masters in 1957. Without going too far off the rails, one could conclude that he was the founder of Ghana. Nkrumah served as Ghana's first president and prime minister. He co-founded the Africa Union AU, as a pan-Africanist. After a 12-year study abroad, Nkrumah returned to the Gold Coast. He became a revolutionary and was arrested for inciting rioting in the streets. Massive development projects spanned the length and breadth of Ghana during his presidency. Nkrumah's impact on Ghana and the world is immeasurable. Number 2. Haile Selassie. Haile Selassie, also known as Ras Tafari Makanan, was Ethiopia's ruler and emperor. Selassie was undoubtedly one of Africa's greatest sons, whose name will never be forgotten. Selassie showed promise intellectually even at an early age. His political clout immediately gained him appointments from Ethiopia's ruler. After his father-in-law died, Selassie ascended to the throne of Ethiopia. Several schools were built during his reign, social injustice was reduced, and the state security forces were strengthened. Selassie pushed for a more united Africa by leveraging his enormous power on the continent. He went on to establish a vast network of relationships with African diaspora communities as well as other Caribbean islands. Number 1. Nelson Mandela. Nelson Mandela was a great African statesman and citizen. He was the president of South Africa from 1994 to 1999, and he campaigned against the country's apartheid political structure. His government, as South Africa's first black president, addressed critical racial structures that divided and tore the country's varied races apart. Mandela was a revolutionary who was imprisoned for his activity multiple times. His African National Congress ANC, party won the 1994 general election after he was released after 27 years in prison. Mandela forgave all of his enemies and established reconciliation committees to investigate past human rights crimes. In 1993, he received the Nobel Peace Prize for his peace-loving life and the various projects and initiatives. That was it for this video. What do you think about our video? Tell us in the comments below. As always, please don't forget to subscribe to Golden Top 10, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.